Hey everyone, it's Miriam. So it's two o'clock in the morning this time. It's been a long day. I really was going to bed, I promise. But as I was going up the stairs, I'm pretty sure I heard the paints call to me. Okay, look, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, admittedly, it doesn't take much for me to drop everything and start painting. But honestly, I think I heard one of the paints say, don't you love us anymore? <sighs> now, come on, what would you do? Of course I had to turn back around and come play with them. We don't want them to feel neglected now, do we? And since I'm kind of sleepy, I pick some bright colors to perk me up. So let's do a dirty pour and see what we can come up with. For my colors, I'm going to use three Artist Sloths paint and one Deco Art Media fluid acrylic and Hansa yellow light and the artist lop colors are brilliant blue brilliant magenta and neon green so I'll use artist lofts white for the negative space I'm going to put silicone in three colors and I will not put silicone in the white I'm going to be working on an 8 by 10 inch canvas 8 times 10 is 80, so my canvas is 80 square inches. That tells me that I want to mix up 80 milliliters of paint. That will cover my canvas comfortably. Because I want negative space, I'm going to make a dirty pour that will be 50 milliliters, and I've marked that off on this cup. And this cup has just the white, and I have 30 milliliters of white paint in here. I use these little cups, these little medicine cups, because they already have my marks on them and tell me where, um, how many milliliters I have. So if I need to mix more than 30 milliliters and I'm going to use a cup that doesn't have marks, I'll just fill this with 30 with water, pour it in the cup, and then fill it with 20, pour it in the cup. And that way I know where 50 is and I make a mark and that that will tell me where to stop pouring f colors for my pour. Now if you are going to do a pour and tilt a lot and you want your paint to run off the sides you might want to mix up a little bit more than 80 for an 8 by 10 canvas you might want to mix up 100 just so that you have enough paint to run off the sides if you want the sides to get coated with paint also. But since I'm not going to be doing that, because I'm going to be using white negative space pretty much all around the border of the canvas, I don't need to mix up extra paint. To make life simple and a little less messy, after mixing my colors, I pour them into these little squeeze bottles for a couple of reasons. One, because it makes it really easy to add the colors to the pour. And also, if I have color left over, I already have a nice way of storing the paint. If I'm going to mix up a big amount of paint, let's say for a 16 by 20 canvas, these little squeeze bottles would not work and I would move up to another size. But since I'm working on a small canvas, I'm using these small ones. And to make my life easier so that I don't forget anything, I designate the ones that look like this for colors I've added silicone to and the ones that look like this for colors I haven't added silicone to. It just keeps my brain well organized. The neon green was looking a little overly bright compared to the other colors, so I knocked it down a little bit with some white. So it's probably 60% neon green and 40% white. And this color always looks much darker in the bottle, but it's so gorgeous when it's on the canvas. It's much brighter looking on the canvas. I'm going to start layering colors for the pour. Now ordinarily, I wouldn't do this. I put green on top of pink. Green and pink don't make a very pretty color when mixed, so this was a risk. But figured it's such a small amount that I'm going to let it slide. Okay. 
Alrighty, that is 50 milliliters of paint. Let us flip the cup. Now I'm going to pour white on the periphery and spread it around. Out of the 30 milliliters, I've left maybe 12 or so in the cup to play with in case I need it. And I'm going to use a pick to spread the paint. I let the cup sit for a couple of minutes so that all the paint could settle down on the canvas. But now it's time to lift it and see what I stayed up for. <sighs> Alrighty, let's do it. My hope is not to use the torch today. I love the blue. I'm trying to decide what I want to keep and where I want to tilt and which direction. Since I really don't know, I'm going to go in all directions to see what happens and what makes me stop. Okay, let's start playing with this. I'm using a bamboo skewer. And what I've done to my bamboo skewer is if you have crazy glue or some other kind of glue, I sort of spread it all around the tip of the skewer. So now it's got a waterproof coating on it. And I can wipe this off very easily at the end or while I'm working. So paint doesn't seep into the wood and I don't have to worry about colors transferring if I'm afraid of that. I am going to spread here. Now I could do this with a straw also or a tube and blow, but sometimes I like doing it manually. I'm going to have to do something with this yellow. I mean, it's pretty if you love yellow, but wow, it's really loud. So I may have to knock that down somehow. This pour is really a puzzle to me. There is a lighter thing going on here, a loud thing going on here, and a very pretty cool color thing going on here. And I'm trying to figure out a way to tie them all together because right now they are feeling a little disparate. Hmm. I do love a challenge. I'm going to maybe slide down this way to get a wider band of white coming in. And this is feeling a little Pepto Bismol y to me, so I don't love that. So I'm going to bring that back. Well, I have to wipe after every pass that I'm doing here, otherwise I'm going to contaminate the white. So, I have a little rag down here that I'm wiping into every time. I guess I'm changing my mind about this area. Yeah. Alright, I've decided I'm going to add white space here very carefully and very slowly so that I don't pour more than I want. I know you yellow lovers out there are going to hate me, but that I just I can't figure it out. So it's going. 
I know, you're gonna scream. I can hear you already, but I just have to, because I can't live with it. What I should do, I'm gonna flip the canvas around. So now what I've done is I have a little lid here and I'm putting it under the area where I'm pushing paint off so I can catch that paint and I can put it into a bottle and use it for something else. If the color mix, if after I mix it, it's a decent color because I'm not gonna get a skin out of this and that way I don't throw out paint for no reason. Okay. The other day, um, someone left a comment because I had discussed the how much paint you need to cover a canvas and apparently people had told her that it couldn't be enough only one milliliter per square inch but I still have I mean I added maybe I don't know five milliliter of white here I still have the 12 milliliter left over in the white cup over there and I'm actually taking paint off here I want to be able to save paint for something else, not to just throw away. So now that I've wiped this whole area out, I'm going to fill it with white. I'm going to use that white that I had left over and pour some of it here. A tube, or you can use a straw to help it along. Now I'll use my skewer to finish up. Now to make this look more like it was part of the pour. So, because this edge is odd, so we're going to make it look more like it belongs. So I'm going to take some white down into here. And then I'm going to take some into here. And I'm going to work that in in a minute. I really feel like this area needs some white. So I'm doing it. All right, I played with this area too much and now I don't like it, so guess what? It's going. I'm sorry to any of you that liked it. And now <clears throat> to fill the area in with white. I had a little bit of a boo-boo here, so I'm having to scoop some of that up, and I'm doing that with a spoon because I don't want to mess up the white over there, so I'm just picking affected paint up with a spoon. This is going to be the pour that I worked the most on. And in the end, it looks so totally different from where it started. And I've turned it again to blow. Well, it is finally finished. I absolutely love this. This is the least amount of silicone I've ever used. I used a couple of drops in three colors, maybe two drops in three colors. There was no silicone in the pink and no silicone in the white. 
and I ended up taking a lot of areas off and filling it back in with white. So I think that sometimes cells are beautiful, but sometimes you don't really need them for something to be really striking. And I hope that this shows you that. Now I'm sure that if I put a torch to this, I would get cells popping up in a lot of places. But I don't want to do that because I think this is beautiful on its own. And cells would just, I don't know, take away from what it already is. And there is enough going on and enough for the eye to visit without putting cells everywhere. Let's come down and take a look at it up close. At the end, you'll see the painting dry and in all different positions. I'd love your opinion on which view looks best. I lean toward number one and number four, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. I made some radical changes to this painting, and I know that it was very pretty at the beginning. I just wanted something different, less round, less predictable, a little more wild. Some of you might have been shaking your head as changes were being made, but I hope the final product is something you found interesting and maybe even beautiful. But most importantly, I hope that watching gave you ideas for your dirty pores. If you'd like to continue seeing videos, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. Do that now if you haven't already. I eagerly await your comments. I try to answer as many of them as I possibly can. If I don't get to you this time, please know that I read it and will try to get you next time. Thank you so much for watching, for voting at the end, and for your wonderful, encouraging support. Remember to let your creative nature shine. See you next time. Bye now.